Climate change and rising sea levels are two of the most pressing issues facing our world. There are implications for many seaside communities with the power of the ocean exposing our vulnerability to coastal erosion and inundation. These impacts are evident in the township of Port Ferry, a small settlement located 280 kilometres west of Melbourne on Victoria's southwest coast. As one of Victoria's first European settlements, Port Ferry contains numerous examples of early 19th century architecture and is characterised by Norfolk Island pines, the picturesque Moyne River and the dramatic Southern Ocean coastline. For a community of 3,000 residents, Port Ferry has a strong economy founded on tourism, supported by commercial fishing, pharmaceutical production and a growing dairy industry. Tourism is central to Port Ferry. More than 200,000 domestic and international tourists pass through Port Ferry each year, with thousands attracted to the pristine beaches, and over 30,000 visitors are drawn to the internationally acclaimed Port Ferry Folk Music Festival, held each year over the March Labor Day weekend. All the elements that make Port Ferry an outstanding place to live, invest and visit culminated in it receiving the 2012 World's Most Livable Community Award. The coastline underpins what makes Port Ferry so appealing to residents and visitors. This same coastline is threatening the town's future. The, the challenges facing Port Ferry, it's not about climate change in the future, it's in fact um, storm surges and storm events we're having now. The continual rise of the sea level will just make it worse and it appears as though we're having higher intensity storms now. Port Ferry is facing coastal challenges on two fronts. The south facing coastline is low lying and subject to wave run up and inundation. The east facing beach consists of fine sand, making it susceptible to erosion and dune recession. Even under current day sea levels, Two decommissioned landfills are becoming exposed. The beach is inundated and houses are at risk of being undermined. Sea level rise will make this situation worse. East Beach has been losing sand for 150 years since the training walls were installed to make the harbour safe. That appears to be um, accelerated in recent years. We have the community measuring sand loss and we appear to have an acceleration of sand loss. Council has commenced a program of upgrading the two kilometre seawall to help protect the 200 homes expected to become vulnerable to coastal erosion. It is also proposed to re-nourish the beach with sand to protect the seawall, supply sand to the stretch of beach containing the decommissioned landfills and provide dry sand for beachgoers to enjoy. Community concern about erosion on East Beach led a group of proactive residents to band together and form the Port Ferry Coastal Group. Climate change is a serious problem and we're seeing the local effects of it here. We originally started because of our concern about the rate of uh, June recession. Historically the uh, rate of erosion had been recorded at about 30 centimetres a year and we found that it was happening at about a metre a year. A core function of the group is to monitor beach levels and dune recession rates. While reports commissioned by Council highlighted immediate erosion concerns for more than 200 homes located along the beachfront, the most pressing issue was the potential for rubbish contained in the two decommissioned landfills buried in the dunes north of Port Ferry to become exposed. Uh, hidden in the sand dunes were two tip sites and if the uh, recession proceeded then these tips would become exposed. And when we showed this information to Council, they obviously became concerned too and undertook remedial action to protect these tip sites in order to prevent uh, rubbish falling into the sea. Of course, in this day and age, we would never contemplate putting a tip in a primary dune, but it was quite common practice in the 50s to 70s. Therefore, we're now trying to deal with the legacies from the past. The tip is quite exposed to dune erosion. We now know that the erosion is actually up to the edge of the tip. The protection that we've used on our site is a rock 
wave energy dissipating structure. That's basically a rock wall that sits out from the toe of the dune and breaks the waves up before they get to the dune. And we've also done some um, fencing on either side to promote the build up of sand. It's been quite successful and survived two storms. Recently we've been able to engage with the primary schools in Port Ferry and they've taken beach monitoring on as a science project for their Year 6 students under our supervision. Uh, we've been quite excited about this. While the community and council are actively working together to address the issues associated with erosion along East Beach, there is an increasing concern about the level and frequency of inundation in the South Beach area. South Beach is actually surrounded by reefs offshore, um, therefore it's quite a different um, system to East Beach. So South Beach, the waves are broken up offshore, but we have a low area where when we get storm surges, the waves push up over the beach and over the road and into the houses across the road. We believe we just need some rock walls um, adjacent to the road, which would actually stop that surge running across the road and up into the houses. Much has been done to address the problem, including armouring the tip with rocks, rebuilding and rehabilitating damaged sand dunes, engaging with the community, monitoring the beach and dunes, upgrading of the East Beach seawall is underway, plus re-nourishing East Beach with sand, and reconfiguration of the rock shoreline at South Beach is to be further explored. Climate change, coastal erosion and sea level rise is here to stay. So we have a measurable problem that's only going to get worse. Um, we're actually addressing some specific matters and working at Port Ferry to protect it. This is a matter that will impact on all communities around the world and will be part of a global solution.